somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today I am very excited because we are checking out the Wild Robot. This one's from 2024. And I am genuinely interested in this because it's been getting rave reviews, yet I've seen zero marketing for this one so i don't know what i'm in for i don't know if this is going to be fun and silly or like a gut punch like uh like a coco or something like that so no idea what to expect so i saw the trailers a few times in movie theaters and this looked absolutely phenomenal then it comes out gets absolutely rave reviews but i'm gonna agree with mason quinn i've seen very little in the way of marketing on social media or outside the trailers i saw in the theater but i am super excited for this one it looked so good I was, I don't know anything about it. And surprisingly, I'm kind of baffled that uh, a lot of people, well, a handful of people have been reaching out to us saying, you got to do it, you got to do it. Best movie uh, this year, best movie of all time, which is high praise considering how much has come out this year, Wolverine Deadpool. Uh, I don't know what to say besides, let's go! Oh, what a wild start. Look at these guys. You got to have otters, right? Look at this animation. We got this oh. new monitor here. <laughs> it's really setting <laughs> things off. Wow. Oh, we got to be shipwrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your purchase of a Universal Dynamics robot. I am Rosam7134. <laughs> Just ask. Oh. Oh. Hopefully it's waterproof. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Processing. It's a... Oh, that's cool. It's a learning mm -hmm. machine. Yeah. It's adapting. My CPU is a neural net <laughs> processor, a learning machine. <laughs> Do you need <laughs> oh. assistance? <laughs> Brutal. Well, this animation is pretty cool. It's a little bit different. It's got like that little <clears throat> plosh like smear to it, mm. on some of it, which is nice. Rosin 7134 is available for task assignment. Did you ah. know I can assist with grocery shopping? Hello. <laughs> Scan the code and receive 10% off of your... <laughs> so is the robot going to have to like totally adapt to the wild? Because it's I, all about human programming. Yeah, it's going to have to understand animals somehow. Whoa. <laughs> wow, look at that. Skunk. Oh, skunk. Rosin 7134 will sort out this language barrier in no time. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Activating learning mode. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's just going to sit and take everything in. That what? is so cool. Hey, check it out. Look, look, look. Somebody died over here. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> no way. Now we can understand them. It's a monster. Anything else? Good thing that destroyed my dad. This is a brilliant idea. <laughs> oh, it feels lonely. Robots don't have feelings, Diamond Dave. This one does. <laughs> I'm just going to act like you've never seen Short Circuit? Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Johnny Five. Johnny Five is alive. No disassemble. Activating return transmitter. Oh, that didn't work. Well, rainstorm on top of a cliff. Yeah. Seems about right. Pretty. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, look at that shot. Oh. 
<laughs> Timber! It's Colorado in the tree. Wait, stop! No! Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, red for danger. Yep. Oh, oh, man, it has not been a good time for this robot. No. Oh, did it land on a bird? Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's like the Predator! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, that's a bummer that it took out the bird yeah. and the egg. But at least it's one egg there. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, was. <laughs> Buzzsaw! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Did you hear him yelp? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Gives it a little growl. <laughs> Is it hatch? Oh, it's hatching. Doesn't know that's supposed to hatch yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wild to see it from the bird's point of view. Look at that. You guys made the bird cute, right? Okay, it's checking. Yeah. <laughs> task accomplished to your <laughs> satisfaction. Oh, <laughs> How would you rate my performance? Returning to factory. Do you require shelter? <laughs> I do not understand this response. <laughs> oh! Ah, just a little pack. <laughs> <laughs> If I barf, I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> Stop jabbing your tail in your sister's eye. The monster! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> you gotta die fast. <laughs> it takes a while. Dead things don't have to explain why they're dead. Uh, why aren't we killed yet? Good question. Nice knowing you, Mom. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, this gosling is yours. Negative. Goslings in print on the first thing they see. Ah, there we go. I do not have the programming to be a mother. No one does. We just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of him is your task now. Oh, he's given task a task. Required. Oh, a Rosam always completes its task. As a mother of seven. <laughs> Six. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did they do oh, there's the, there's the barf. Yours needs to swim and fly. He's got to leave this island before winter or... Eat, swim, fly by fall or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. Oh. Oh. Yay. So oh. That's seven. Yay. <laughs> Eat, swim, fly by fall. Uh, <laughs> huh? Fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, something got it. At least he got it back. Allow me to introduce myself. Think, predator, and local goose expert. I do foxy things. It's in my nature. Let's start with eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Mm. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's mouse traps. 
Mm. Seems good to me. Can you make yourself look like a bear? I believe I am under attack. <laughs> You're doing great. Here you go, kid. <laughs> oh, that bear is going to be oh. pissed. <laughs> 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 the lasers. This uh, is not working. Are you kidding? Here. <laughs> now we're gonna have to do all this over tomorrow. What's that? My power core. It is damaged. I rely on my solar surfaces and batteries. I also need a replacement transmitter. When we run across another robot, we'll kill it. Rosam inhibition protocols prevent deliberate harm to others. Me. The <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. How did you get a gosling anyway? I terminated his family. <laughs> you reference, you probably want to keep all that to yourself. How long do you estimate swim and fly to take? Swimming's easy. Swim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't exactly. He's what they call a runt. Even if his whole family hadn't have been killed, he probably wouldn't have lived very long. Oh. Just, I don't know, don't get too attached to the little guy. That's all. I could eat him right now and save you the grief later. <laughs> You're gonna need a place that's safer than out here. <clears throat> Is it normal to burp this much? Ooh. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> it's gonna make Rossum do all the work for Fink here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who is that? Paddler spends every day trying to cut down the biggest tree on the island. You're never going to finish that. Failing this is not the point. The process is the art. <laughs> My art. Weirdo. Yeah, well, you will eat those words, vermin. Are you sure Paddler will not mind us borrowing his home? He doesn't need to know. Hmm. Hmm? Seriously? He needs room for me. Better. <laughs> <laughs> Rise, three slash, seven, sun, three, door. There you go. Yeah. But you can call me Roz. Roz. <laughs> Roz. Roz. Well, who made you? Someone made me. Oh, it's becoming self aware. Yep. Oh, we know how this goes. <laughs> yeah. Squirrels. Your inefficient participation will slow the process. <laughs> inefficient participation. That's a good word. Ah, this is inefficient <laughs> participation. But it's okay. That's it. It's okay. Ah, it's, it's what you got to do. Zero, 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 one. Okay, that sucked. You gotta learn to make stuff up. Gosling, zero, one, eight, six. You see what I did? His numbering is out of sequence. <laughs> <laughs> His name can't have numbers. It's like someone didn't even like him. It's got to be personal. Personal. Bright. Bill. Bright Bill. Is that satisfactory? Bright Bill. Processing. <laughs> 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 oh, that's nice. <sighs> oh, Paddler. This house of yours, you copied it. It's my design. No, it was you and I know where you live. How do we reset Bright Bill? You could tell him a story, but that's a lot more work. Storytelling is lying adjacent, and I lie for a living. Watch and learn. I'm starting to see a theme here with Fox mm -hmm. and his uh, upbringing. Yeah. A little gosling asked the brightest one if it could send him one of their extras. There's this beautiful robot that happened to be sitting on the edge of that oh, star. Look at this. And she hears him. Sound does not travel through the vacuum <laughs> of space. <laughs> but she still heard him. This is really cool the way they're doing like storybook watercolor almost. A part that up to that point she didn't even know she had. Her heart falls off that star and lands on the beach just a little ways from here. And a lot of stuff she knew just kind of fell out. She remembers one thing. You. She loves you very much. The story worked. <laughs> How do you tell a story about something you say you know nothing about? Love. Yeah, well, when you grow up without something, you... Oh, here we go. ...spend a lot of time thinking about it. Here comes Fink's story. To conserve battery power, I must shut down until morning.
I miss her when she sleeps too. Wow. Touching. <clears throat> oh, we're getting a little oh. time jump. Getting a time jump. Activating interspecies outreach protocol. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bonjour. I am Gosling0186. I expected to have at least one friend by summer. Nothing weird about you two. Thank you. <laughs> Exemplary day for swimming tests. Pink tail, appetizers. Primary motor appendages and opposing stroke start position. I'm thinking I should maybe just stay with you guys this winter. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It, it's working. There we go. I think yep. I got it. Swimming requirement fulfilled. Thanks, you. Vaguely. Uh, uh, perhaps you could. Slight drone. Yeah. But, uh. Probably won't die. It's unlikely probably. he probably. would die. Do everyone a favor and expire oh. downstream. Oh, here we go. I'm them. Well, this is going to be interesting to see what kind of interactions he has. Mm -hmm. You're it. You're that goose thing raised by that monster. You're a big subject of curiosity around here. Look what we have here. No uh, way. Bullies. We're going to get bullies, aren't we? I see you too have feathers and wings. The freak show is on the other side of the lake. You call that a wing? <laughs> you don't belong here. Come on, fly away! Oh, jeez. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, oh right, what was that? Get him out of there! The gator. I uh, looked like a muskie. Yeah, that looked like uh, a fish, not a gator. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the, the chomp. Yeah, there goes a muskie. Focus on me. Nice. Oh, I was wondering where the other hand was. Yeah. Why do you attack me? Because you are a run. He is not our kind. He's a ninety-eight percent match to yours. I'm not. Let's just go, Mom. You think that thing is your mother? That thing killed your mother. Oh. Everyone knows that. Now I know who to eat first. <gasps> Oh, oh, think. I just intended to. Boz! Uh oh. See the cracking on the heel? Uh, dude, I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're going to get a devastating ending. Well, I think we are. This is going to be a gut punch. There was an accident. Did you do it? Yes. It wasn't her fault, kid. Why didn't you tell me? So, was it just guilt? Is that why you did this? I needed a task. Well, I'm glad I could give you one. You don't understand anything. You don't feel anything. Oh, that's a little You're harsh. Not my mom. Oh, oh. Gut punch. Hmm. Oh, it's found Ooh. the crate. Maybe there's some spare parts in there. Get a manual though. Oh, no. Oh, there was more of them. Did, Roz wasn't did the they only get one. Destroyed? Yeah, yeah. They got destroyed. Oh, so there's extra but parts. But there's parts laying around. Huh, so not in the crate, but oh, laying around. Okay. That's probably the most important piece <laughs> of it. Design is our passion. Quick backstory. Yeah. Take it. Welcoming all people who dream of a pre planned life. Could this world get any better? Here you go. These robots are designed to fit seamlessly into our community. They should stay away from the red balloons, mm. is, my, uh, is my suggestion. Part of the Universal Dynamics family. Is Roz going to try to rebuild them? I think so. Well, here we were thinking for parts. Yeah. Build a friend. Oh. Congratulations on your Universal Dynamics robot. I will call you... Rummage. Your first task is to assist me in my current task. The processing that used to happen here is now coming more from here. Mm. It's learning. It's learning. It's getting a heart. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have to because he's relying on me. May I run a diagnostic? I feel fine. You should not feel anything at all. You're learning. Yeah. Is that robot going to... 
get the same feelings. Overrode your programming? I have been overriding my code for months. It was the only way to complete my task. This is serious. You are defective. You must return to factory. Take this. That, that is where you belong. belong. Oh, nope. Don't do it. You need to let me know before you disappear like this. Is that a working transmitter? You're getting out of here. I found out where I'm supposed to be. Maybe there is someone small there that needs my help. I think you're needed here. You just don't yeah. know it yet. Oh no. You know, all the geese. It's remembering where. Are those? He's out of time. I don't think he will ever let us help him again. Don't worry. We're his only friends. He has no choice. No! <laughs> the mutation that made you small should not have an effect on your ability. <laughs> You're done. You can just leave. If you are willing mm. to do this, you can fly away and we can both go to where we belong. A Rosm always completes its task. Well, he's using a little bit of science. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's, those three geese need to get kicked. <laughs> Listen to Diamond Dave over there turning into Dynamite Dave here. Goose dinner. <clears throat> well, are you kidding come me? Come on, now. Run away? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I want a new, oh, nice. new foot. Oh, the <laughs> beaver. Oh, well, oh, come on uh, now. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Almost there. Ah, 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 ah. Ross, I'm fine. Go again. Oh. Oh. Ross We're is leaking. So oh, hard. No. Yeah. You can't be up there with him. Then we'll find someone who can. A flight instructor. But what loser did you dig up? <laughs> oh, come uh. on. <laughs> so you think small wings to be a disappointment. Oh, Ving Rames, Nice. There is nothing he can do that you can't. I can't believe they he's, got Ving Rhames. He's going to become the best flying goose ever because he's learning from a falcon. Was it an owl or a falcon? Or owl or falcon, one of the two. I figured it was a falcon the way it was diving. Well, well, I mean, we got a goose, little. might as well call him Maverick. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I would think falcon, but the little, yeah, I think, yeah. or a hawk. I don't know. Yeah. It's awesome. You should be commended. Long neck. One of the leaders of the coming migration. You are the only goose that has ever bothered to be civil with us. <laughs> We're all so boring. All we do is gossip. When do you leave? A week. Can oh. Bright Bill? Endurance. Keep him in the air all day. Bright Bill was never supposed to get this far. You know that. But he has a chance if where his wings end, his heart Oh, oh gosh, are they hitting us? <laughs> Gotta get that strength. It's like a Rocky montage here. Look at him oh, go. In the air for like three days. Does he think he's coming with us? Attention, everyone! The time has come again. This flight is thousands of unforgiving miles. Right on time. Hello, Bright Bill. You know my name? Roz and I go way back. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. One week. <laughs> I would be delighted if you would join my group. Oh, no. This flight is a gift Roz has given you. The accident that killed your family saved you. Oh, gosh. Thank you for looking after my... For looking after Bright Bill. Goodbye, Rose. Oh, you could say it. A bit worse for wear, I'm afraid. I'd say you shine like new. Well, guess it's time. Will you be here when I get back? No. I'm glad you're going where you belong. Roz, I... I could use a boost. Well, I like you, not like them. Ready? I guess I have to be. 
Maybe we won't well, lose Roz. I mean, there was a lot of spare parts there. Well, she's and she's got the so transmitter. So has the yeah. transmitter. I've never seen anything like this visually the way they did it. Well, due to all the metaphors for life that mm-hmm. they just hit you with in the last thirty minutes. Yeah, it's been wild. Roz. I. I knew it. <laughs> One last look. Mm-hmm. Right, Bill. Follow me. Well, you got to do a flyby, right? I mean, must be a relief. Yes, Right, Bill is where he belongs. Um, Amazing. Well, time for me to go underground for the winter. Unless you want to stay, because we could, we could, we could hang out and and, and do <laughs> stuff. How do you know if you love something, someone? If you do, you you should probably tell them. What if it is too late? I wouldn't know. Oh. Think. Oh, he, he thought. thought it would be him. Pretty cool. Yeah, a little bit of wood burning. Oh, think. Uh, oh, that's still feels alone. All oh, the animals getting ready. Rosam seven one three four task complete. Activating return transmitter. Ah, uh, don't do it. Oh, it's happening. But if they retrieve Roz and finds out that. The robots learn to learn and and love and everything else. Oh. I I forgot to say something before I left. Did people leave Maybe Earth? They heard it anyway. Sometimes hot. Oh, have that their might own be. Conversations. Satellite dishes are all wrecked. Yeah. What a twist. Cities are underwater. Yeah. Whoa. We must descend there. Follow oh. me. Okay, maybe that's all that's left. Yeah. Of uh, humanity. Yep. Stay hidden. We can rest here till the worst is over. Migrations sure are tiring, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all hate me. Oh, he's going to think it's Roz. Yeah. Roz, what are you doing here? There's something I needed to tell you, but but there was a time. <gasps> oh, oh, it's going to think it's an intruder. Animal infestation. Animal infestation. Their inhibition protocols prevent deliberate conflict or harm to others. You grew up with these things. Whoa, 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 I don't understand. Right now, our only chance is to be led out by someone that doesn't think like a goose. Follow me. Uh, Ah, oh, look at him fall right into a leadership role. What the hell is this? Oh, look at this thing. Right, Bill. Take lead! Take turn! It's a little aggressive. Yeah. Glad I lived long enough to see that. I'll buy you some time. Don't wait for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. What? Are they doing this to us? No. Oh, no. No. Right, Will. <laughs> Think? I may have turned off the transmitter. I needed to know if he made it. It is good to see a friend. Wait, why are you awake? It is bad out there. Cold got to me in my den, and I got a deep den. Half the door's covered. That was a big door, too. Mm -hmm. We could have the whole island to ourselves come spring. Why are you interested in eliminating everyone else from this island? No one likes me. But right now, we are their only chance. Can help the other Ah, animals. That's exactly what foxes do. (laughs) Look at that. Look at this. They're going to save all the animals. Oh, that's cool. So the shack ended up being big enough for the yep. island. Paddler! 
Huh? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what is going on in here? It's chaos. Every, yeah, it's just yeah. everyone after everyone. The bear would be out. Yeah. No. What is happening? You put a bunch of predators and their food supply in one room. Help them. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> it's cool to actually... Of oh, course. They listen to the otter. Of course. We all got one chance to see next spring because of her. The monster. Well, her name is Roz. All she's been trying to do is raise her kid, the little one that no one gave a chance. She risked everything to bring you here. <laughs> Sometimes to survive, we must become more than we were programmed to be. Oh, God. <laughs> Promise me one thing, a truce, just while we are in here. I will not harm anyone, not while we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pillow. <laughs> Roz, what's going on? I completed my task. You sure about that? I will consider this well Roz is just powering down to save energy right hope so oh no now see oh the sun yeah the sun. solar solar he'll be here I know he will <sighs> right Bill he's alive we made new it. leader I, my I believed in you day one <laughs> <laughs> He found where he belongs. The old man took the shot for him. Hey, kid! Bank. No, no, it's okay, he's with me. I led them to the summer nesting grounds. And... Where's Longneck? <sighs> oh. Sorry, kid. Roz is gonna be so excited. Roz? I thought I saw her right over there. Uh-oh. They found her? Yeah, they must have. Oh, wait, 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 no. Yep. Yep. Rosum7134. I am Vondra. Virtual Observational Neutralizing Troublesome Retrieval Authority. Neutralizing Troublesome? You are a big deal. You were not easy to find. Someone has been busy. Did you secure a task in a place where nothing can communicate with you? Ooh. Oh no, it's gonna know that she... We cannot wait to hear all about it. Come aboard. It's gonna know that Roz went against the programming. Mm-hmm. Roz, what are you doing? Quit messing around. I there we go. I've forgotten something. I Is that Amy Poehler's voice? First, uh, it kind of sounds, sounds, like, it kinda sounds, sounds like, like her. It. <laughs> Oh boy, we got the Terminator Roz's. This, oh jeez, the flares. You coming? Oh, the raccoon should be able to take yeah, take pieces. Take them apart. Oh, look how Roz is running like the animals. I have so much to tell. Acknowledge return command. Tell them you're already home. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Family. Family. You do not belong here. This is a wilderness. And I am a wild robot. Oh, there yes. we go. Yeah. The title. <laughs> and, and a howl. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these things aren't really equipped to take on these big animals. No. Oh. Of course, that thing's Russ. doing it. Now we got wildfire. Yep. Roz! Oh, no. No! Come on! On your left. Now here come the geese. Oh, yeah. come on! He will be reconditioned and returned to rotation. I want to keep my memories. Your memories are what we came for. Can I keep just one? No. Oh! Come on. Multiple objects in flight path. Break them! Oh, 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 oh. 
Right in there. Boom! Oh. I was going to say the head hurt a little bit. Yeah. Did a little damage to the wing. Please be Ross, a fake out. What happened was not your fault. But what you did to try and fix it is everything. I love you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Did he get there in time? I love you All too. Right. Boom. Only one animal is big enough to stop this. A uh, paddler. You got a minute? Everyone that made fun of me and mocked my project, admit you were wrong. Oh, we're so sorry. Now say I'm cool and don't lie. <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice. Buzz! Bright Bill has nothing to do with this. Please. Oh, I'm bringing you both back for study. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. We will just keep coming until we have you. Gotta jump. Yep. I can't fly. You don't need to. Oh, oh attention. Yeah. Gosh. Don't be afraid. Oh, God. Oh whoa, no! Whoa. Don't don't you need that? I have everything I need. All power to exterior. <laughs> Turn into oh. Iron Man. You yep. call yourselves animals? Oh, yep. divert the yep. water. Okay, yeah, it's a dam. Oh, that's the end of Roz, isn't it? It's got to be without a power unit. I know it's solar, but still. Well, yeah, rip the, the thing out of its chest. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate my performance? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Sean Spears? <laughs> five answers. Oh. <laughs> well, get it done, everyone. <laughs> you weren't so bad. Got me worried there for a second. I'm like, did it just reset? They will just keep coming. And we'll be ready. We can fight them off as many times as we need to. You don't need to. To protect all of you, there are things there that I must put right. They'll take your memories. They'll take you. They cut my power, but I still heard you. Because I was listening with a different part of myself. You're my friend, and uh, I, I need you. What if I need to tell you something? Oh, really? You can tell me. And me. And you can talk to me as well, if you must. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I will find my way home. Oh, okay, so they didn't do what I thought they were going to do. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's some, that's some heavy-duty wood burning right there. There was an island with all sorts of animals. A robot fell right out of the sky. Thought kindness was a survival skill. You know what? She was right. Where is she now? She has some very important work to finish there. She's making a plan to come back. And Rosam always completes its task. Hello, I am Rosam7134. That remembers. But you can call me Roz. Oh! Oh, I'm so happy nothing bad happened. I was fully I'm so, <laughs> waiting. So happy everything worked out. I just I wasn't ready to to take on any anything heavy duty. It was going too well. Planted a new tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Squirrels. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, nice. Gosh, where do you want to begin and how many hours do you want to talk about this? Because it hit everything. First off, I want to get it out of the way. I want to give a huge shout out to all the people who did the visuals and the music for it because this was incredible. I was thinking about it, you know, maybe 
I don't know, 25, 30% of the way in. I'm like, gosh, what does this remind me of? Because we talked about how, you know, the trees looked like something Bob Ross would paint. And it had like a, a painted type style to it. And it almost reminded me of Arcane a little bit. The way they did the animation, it kind of had that vibe. Now, Arcane's obviously on a, on a level of its own, but it, it kind of felt like that. And the one thing that I picked up on the end, since I'm, I'm talking about it now, I'll jump way to the end of the movie and I want to hear from you folks and maybe you guys as well. When they showed the animation of Roz working in the orange field of what's left of humanity, it didn't seem as vibrant or as lifelike. It, it almost seemed like, well, for lack of a better term, it almost seemed a little bit more fake <coughs> than all the beauty that we saw on the island. And I'm wondering if that was done on purpose with the animators to show that it's not a real environment that they're in. It's manufactured. It's, it's manufactured. Kind of and I thought like, that yeah. the animation at the end, or at least the animation in that scene where Roz was working, that's the vibe that I got out of it. So I'm just wondering if that was done on purpose. I'd love to hear from all of you guys out there, but, uh, you know, this this was kind of for me, I, I said in the beginning, you know, I don't know if it's going to be fun and silly or it's going to have a gut punch and be a tearjerker, but it kind of hit everything. And it did it in a way that I, I, I hate to, you know, sound kind of weird and say that I was relieved with the ending that I got, but I was relieved and very happy the way they ended it. We've talked about it before. Uh, I know on a number of animated films that we've done where you know you don't always have to have the gut punch at the end where somebody has to get taken out. Now we did lose uh, Longneck, and he you know did that kind of the ultimate way of sacrifice to save all the other geese, and you know that was pretty heavy duty. But it it was talked about and they addressed it and then moved on with the rest of the story. And I there was like three different times there I thought we were losing Roz for sure because they they. They hinted at it, and obviously that was done on purpose to put that idea in your head. You know, the, the hydraulic fluid was leaking out. You were wondering about the how the energy was going to work once the core was damaged. And then at the end, when Roz ripped the core out completely, I'm like, oh gosh, that's it. Roz is sacrificing, you know, uh, herself to save uh, to save Brightbeak. But it turned out that that power core, because uh, I had to remember back to the beginning when Roz said that's how the robot's powered when there's no sunlight or solar. Mm -hmm. So Roz is still able to use solar. So everything worked out. So uh, we got a very happy ending, which, you know, could you do a sequel? Absolutely. We could see how everything happened beforehand. We could introduce all new characters. But if they don't, I'm incredibly happy the way this story came full circle and wrapped up. I thought it was great. Uh, great cast of characters with all the animals were done great. Again, the animation style with Fink especially, and when they did some of the close-ups, it looked painted, and I'm sure that was done. Uh, again, I reference Arcane in, in the type of style that it had, if any of you are familiar with that show. If not, we did reactions to it here on the channel. But... Man, talk about, I mean, I'm oh, I'm sure you're going to go after the lessons real hard here. So I'm just going to hit on a couple of things. One, this is another movie, uh, much like another one we did. I don't really remember where. I, it, it's not exactly for parents like I thought another animated movie we did was. And it's the name of it's escaping me. I'll probably think of it later. But I thought this one definitely hit harder for parents than most uh, animated movies or even movies in general might hit that you would normally think would be for kids. You know, the, the whole idea of, you know, going through doing everything you can to raise your kid, to try to help them, to help them achieve. Uh, the line that Longneck had in there when he said, you know, you were never supposed to make it. You were, you were too small and you did not have a chance to survive in this world, but you had somebody who helped you. I mean, that was huge. I mean, People have that all the time, whether it be a, you know a, a parent, obviously, or even a mentor or somebody who helps you. That's huge. And the big line that Roz had about, you know, you don't have to be who you were programmed to be. I mean, 
Start your conspiracy theories now, folks, and just go ahead and run with that one however you want. Because, you know, with the idea of all the animals working together, even when they typically don't, they came together for a common good and they made it work. And I thought that was all phenomenal. And it was done in a way that was not heavy handed and didn't have to get too preachy about it, which I can appreciate the way that all the lessons were delivered. I thought it was outstanding. Uh, Vantra, the uh, the creature at the end, or the robot at the end with the tentacles, was done great. Gave me some flashbacks of the Matrix with the, the squiddies that they had in there. So that was really well done. Uh, this was an absolute uh, treat of a movie to watch, and I'm so glad that we got to uh, jump on this one for all you folks out there because this one was great. And I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna turn it over to the other guys because I've blabbed long enough. Yeah, I mean this this movie was just absolute magic. Uh, um, every, every single piece of it. Um, we'll start uh, with the kind of, uh, you know, the, the technical side of it, which is the, the visuals and the animation was absolutely stunning. Um, you know, Diamond Dave had mentioned, I don't know if it's going to make the cut at the beginning, they gave us almost just like a little bit of a fisheye to kind of give us this like robotic mm -hmm. type view. Um, the, the colors, the animation, the way they did it was fun. It was, it was vibrant. It almost had... Uh, like a little bit of a 3D effect, if 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 it's that makes like if that makes yeah. sense, um, and it was just visually very very stunning. The animation on all the animals was done in a fashion where they didn't have to do like live action, but it kind of gave you old school kind of you know 90s animation vibes a little bit with the way they did the bear and you know the otters and things like that. So I thought that was phenomenal. Um, the beautiful thing about this film for me is, you know, I heard everybody say, oh, it's a gut punch, you're going to ball, you're going to cry. And I, I didn't. So, look, uh, I, I had personal connections to Up and to Coco and uh, in How to Train Your Dragon Part 2 that had me choked up pretty bad and tearing up. So I didn't have moments where I cried during this film, but there's a lot of very emotional moments, and they do that consistently throughout the course of the film with different types of themes. And for me there's a lot of brilliance in that when they can do a film that really kind of gives you the warm and fuzzies but a, a, you know kind of gets you emotional but you leave the theater or, or you're, you're you know finishing up the film like we are feeling kind of happy in this just like overwhelming sense of kind of like of like joy and just like i said just this this wholesome feeling um what a perfect movie for the entire family there's enough danger and enough suspense where younger audiences i would sense that you know anybody who's been to a, a, a movie with a toddler you know if there's too much then it's like okay it's too much but some suspense kind of can teach them you know certain certain lessons there and i thought they did great there um you know of course it started off like the robot this isn't my job and you know you have this task of of uh of raising a gosling and it was interesting when the possum said, hey, look, no, nobody really knows what we're doing. And that's like so relatable <laughs> as a as a parent, because it's like, uh, you know, I, I would imagine people who grew up maybe as like older siblings with a large age gap and maybe had to take care of younger and brothers and sisters. You know, I, I think of old older families, you know, and, uh, you know, years and years ago, the you know, the, the farm families where you have one kid that's 16 and another baby that's two and mm -hmm. And stuff like that but for a lot of us parents that uh look i was the youngest of four i didn't you know was just completely winging it with my little guy so that was really emotional um the fact that Roz, um you know knew that uh bright beak wasn't going to be able to do the same things as the other geese but he had the potential to and he just needed to learn different I thought was brilliant. Um, it was a re now I'm getting choked up. So like, I'm fine the whole film right now. I'm talking about it. Um, <clears throat> the things that parents go through to try to bring success for their children. I think that was really, really brilliant. Um, the building of the runway, mm -hmm. the tether, the getting a flight instructor when she knew that she couldn't um, teach him what he needed to learn 
So just that sacrifice. And we also saw it come as, as physical sacrifices when, mm-hmm. you know, leaking and stuff like that. Yeah, breaking the foot and, off and, the water. And the breaking the foot off, um, trying to teach him to swim. And it's just such a, a strong metaphor of, you know, how much we give of ourselves as parents, of, of course, mentally. But look, there's a lot of physical. Sometimes it comes in, um, you know, in, in the way of sleepless nights and, and all sorts of other things. But that was really, really powerful. Um, then they got you with long neck who's the wise one in the group who sits there and you know he commended the the one to really open up to the the monster raz and and commend her like i you're doing something incredible here and uh sometimes you know the 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 good work that people put in doesn't always get recognized by everybody and it feels like you're doing the work and you're struggling and it's like you know this is all for naught you know and to have just one person come in and say you know what this is really admirable what you're doing i thought was great um i i also thought it was a really strong lesson that sometimes it just takes one person you know we it's, it's such a cliche thing to say but like one small act of kindness or one person is you know is, is capable of making such a huge change in somebody else's life and the, that long night came in and said you know what i'm gonna give bright beak a chance it's like everybody else kind of started saying like okay you know um let's 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 try to be a little bit more open-minded about this and um you know the the story could have really ended at the story of the the migration right like Mm -hmm. he made it successful you prepared him for this journey but there was things left unsaid and so Roz was going to stay she was gonna you know do what it took to to stay on that island because she had something that she wanted to say and, and i mean so often in this life we don't get the chance to say the things we want to say i mean man if there's some lessons you can pull from this movie it's you know tell people um what they mean to you when you have the chance because you never know and and Roz stayed um you know then it's like the second part of the movie and these beautiful lessons about which is like kind of what we all need right now right like especially right now like look we all have a lot of differences and um we all maybe have reasons to not agree with each other or, or I don't want to go say we have reasons not to like each other. I, I don't think that's a good thing to say, but there's reasons that we don't always get along. And in the big picture of things, you know, sometimes that, that feels pretty, pretty trivial. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I really like the quote. I, I made one note here. I tried to soak in as much as I could. And that's that kindness is a survival skill. And I thought that was a really powerful thing to say. It was so cool to see Roz go out and risk herself, risk her own well-being to help all the other animals in their time of need. And then in turn, when she was in trouble, they all came and helped. Um, they all teamed up to save the island. I mean, there's just so many beautiful lessons in this in this film. Lessons from a parental standpoint of you know, giving of yourself to to, uh, to to ensure the success of your children. Lessons of a community standpoint, mm-hmm. saying, hey, you know what? Let's try to give everybody a chance. Let's try to encourage those who might not, you know, have these, you know, these glaring talents and everything else like that. Let's try to encourage people to be at their best. You know, the the working together, the the, the just getting along for the sake of being kind and and I thought that was great and then for me like and they, and they had it in the they had it in the trailer and I saw this a couple times in the theaters and it, you I mean it was a gut. You saw the trailer. I saw. I caught a couple. Theaters. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah. A, so I saw the trailer a couple. <laughs> like you saw no. this a couple times. So I couple. saw the trailer a couple yeah. times. So the yeah. line, do you think he can make it? And when when long neck says if where his wings end his heart can take over that yeah. for me it was just like yeah they had a few of them that, there that was that was just incredible and so this film did it have the the gut punch like a coco no um but it had every incredibly wholesome lesson that you needed to have for a film for the entire family to enjoy this is one where um you know it's still in the theaters right now as we're recording it so i really wanted to wait to do this one for the channel um and i'm happy that they sent it to digital as soon as as soon as they did because now 
I can go to the um, I can go to the movies with uh, with my little guy and take him to see this. And there's a hundred percent chance I'm going to do that because this is just this film was absolute magic. Yeah, I mean, it didn't seem like it had one big gut punch, but it had a lot of body a lot shots. Of, in there a for lot sure. of really emotion, and just I mean, yeah. guys, I could. I know you, you went a little long. I went a little long. I I try not to sometimes take as many notes when I'm really really into a film, just because it, it, it kind of takes me out of the moment for a second. But I I mean, they could write books about the lessons in this movie oh, slash did. book. Yeah, yeah well, I mean I mean yeah. about just about yeah. the lessons, yep. you know. Yep. So uh, a yeah. beautiful film, absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah, you know what they said was uh, well said, right? Uh, but I'm going to go right immediately to our guy, uh, Bill Nye, Billy Mac. <laughs> Christmas is all around me. The, the second I saw his face, because the uh, long neck, um, then we got to hear, right, to see who the cast was. And that immediately came into my head from Love Actually. It was fantastic. Yep. Uh, so good to see. <laughs> what a song <laughs> that was. <laughs> Billy Mac. <laughs> so I'm getting, I'm, this is my train of thought now because of that damn song. But uh Again, what a, I think a stat cast here. Uh, I mm. had no idea that the bear was Mark Hamill. Cool to see Pedro. Yeah, he. Always, I didn't. I had zero clue that uh, Fink was Pedro. Yeah, Hamill can always change his voice, and he does so much animation that half the time you don't know it's him unless you're told. I had no, no clue man. that that was Pedro Pascal. Yeah, I didn't know zero it was Pedro clue. Either. And then that uh, that was Hamill. Uh, yeah. uh, can you go up quick? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I butchered her name. I'm so sorry. Uh, Lupita. 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 God damn, I'm bad at this. Sorry for butchering her name, but uh, she did great too. I had no idea that was her. I feel like everyone, almost everybody in here except Bill, <laughs> was uh, you know now that I you know for Bill now that I hear or hear the name, yeah. it's like yep, that's Bill. Uh, but I'm gonna go immediately to the sound design in here too. Uh, man, we had uh, these headsets on, and I had actually <coughs> turned it down a little bit because. The sound, at least in the first 10 minutes, was absolutely amazing. The way they were designing every little aspect of this film. You can only imagine what it was like in theaters. Uh, for the, of course, the picture itself, mm -hmm. uh, the animation, uh, shout out to all, well, everyone involved in this project, but uh, the animators, of course, the, un the really the unsung heroes that never get any shine. So congratulations to all of you because you guys put together a really good film here. Uh, as far as like uh, the the animals itself, it was interesting in the beginning when Roz. I like the dynamic they did for that. Let me back up. I like the dynamic they did for Roz, where they she had to learn the <laughs> their language. Yeah. And it took X amount of time to do that, and then boom! As soon as the as soon as Roz learned it, it was often uh, often to the races and we can actually hear the transformation from animal sounds to their voices so and understand what they were saying so i thought that was actually pretty cool too uh, did anyone else uh, you guys you as well did anyone else get the, like this was just uh and this is not a bad i hope this doesn't come off as a bad thing but uh, i definitely got wally vibes just elevated into a different universe well i think you yeah. know i think it to be honest, I think it. And took, I know nothing about the book. I yeah, I that. think it <laughs> took. Um, I think it took aspects of a handful of different films. To be honest, I got. Um, yeah, you get the short circuit and the Wally -E vibes, like a mm -hmm. robot that develops feelings. That look. I that's, feel like we're we're baked into not, any robot. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Short, yeah, circuit. short yeah. circuit. That's an '80s one. If y'all have missed it, um, but you know, I also got. Um, I got Avatar vibes when um, you know when the when the the robots came and the machines. And then all of a sudden the animals got together. Remember an avatar when they came to destroy the home tree and uh, yes. she was pinned behind the tree. And then all of a sudden they had all the soldiers and the big suits. And then all of a sudden like the rhinos came charging and all the animals came out of the sky. So I got, you know, I got avatar vibes there. Uh, we got a training montage, yeah, that was yeah, which, so which I thought was great. <laughs> so I think, look, that's the thing. The story didn't need to be like super, super, um, original in that it didn't no. take inspiration from other things but it was very unique in the way they told it because like i said for me this this was a they could have ended it after the migration thing that was a movie in its own but they gave us the second half which that's what i thought was really unique about this film is how there was a continuation of it mm -hmm. yeah i mean i thought that the similarities it had with some of those movies i think 
it kind of falls into through through no part of its own. Look, you're going to do a story about a robot in a world where there are no humans. Well, immediately everybody's going to think about, you know, Wally or something like that that's already been done. But the the and I don't know if you were done Diamond Dave, I'll stop, but if if you well, I still had a little more, but it, you know, no, no, just to want to elaborate for, oh, for the no, people on your point. Well, no, I was just thinking that I think anybody can pull something out of this, and you know, it just I I don't know why it took me so long to hit me about, but I think this is especially a movie for uh, for anybody who's maybe a step parent or an adopted or a parent who does adoption. I think that this is a great movie. For anybody who's in that situation because you know you can easily look and and say well you know they're they're different than me i how can i teach them what they need to do and i think that it just kind of shows that it doesn't matter if you know you're a robot and you're a goose and you know, you're totally different as long as your heart's in the right place i think you can make it work so i think it's a really really good film for maybe uh some folks who maybe don't always get a lot of movies kind of thrown their way and, and maybe in that aspect. So that, that kind of hit me just as I was thinking about it. So I, I'd like to hear if anybody else had that same thought as well. Yeah. So that's kind of one of the things I wrote down here too. I feel like, uh, for parents, I feel like you kind of get hit pretty hard with, uh, I'm not in that stage. I know you definitely aren't Dave Quinn and maybe a few years you might get there where we got the progression, right? We got, uh, the, the what was the baby's name? Uh, B- Bright Bill. Bright Bill. Bright Bill. Bright Bill. Bright Bill. Uh, we got Bright Bill being born. We got, you know, we had a little bit of a, a slight time jump, which now was surprising when they threw that in. I wasn't yep, ready for that. I wasn't. I was. I was yeah. just. I had zero clue on how they were going to do all this stuff. But we, we got it laid out. So then we got the Bright Bill being born. Now we have uh, what I'm going to consider. Your, your young one learning how to drive that stage. Mm-hmm. Then we get the empty nesters for the parents. So I feel like parents who uh, have gone through that will probably, it'll probably hit hard uh, for some parents on that spot because yeah. uh, Roz, you know, I, that was, I remember when I was going away to Florida for school, small kid or a small town kid, town was a 1500. So uh, when, the last moment between me and my mom, like it was all fine and dandy, but the second that I had to start walking away, yeah. man, did we both break down? It just all oh, just like hit all of a sudden. So that's how I feel like that happened here. Just mm-hmm. Roz wasn't showing tears, right? But she was running to see every last moment. Uh, we got moments in here for again for kind of like in the parents thing. A lot of moments in here where they were trying to capture for Roz, Roz was trying to capture. Mm-hmm. I feel like parents are going to be able to relate to that, and you don't have to be a parent to watch this movie either to get something out of it. I feel like this movie was well-crafted for adults to find something in there. That's the beauty uh, For the lessons like you were kind of mentioning or even some just kind of metaphors out of here where something happens to you in your life and you can kind of pick and reflect that onto here. Uh, Kids, I think, are going to love it regardless. Um, As far as like uh, the fox, uh, Fink, I, (laughs) I thought his journey was pretty interesting. They dropped a lot of little bits of his, uh, how he emotionally is. Yeah, and his upbringing. Yeah, and his upbringing and how he uh, was basically feeling alone. And then he actually needed Roz. He needed, did he need the rest of the animals? I think he could have been okay with not having the rest of the animals, but it was a huge help for his progression uh, in this as well, especially with Roz. Obviously, he made it, they made it clear in some moments like, don't leave me. And then obviously yep. he said that too. Don't leave me. Who am I going to talk to? That was a pretty cool moment with a bear too. Like you could talk to me. So that was pretty cool too. Um, again, uh, seeing uh, Roz develop her emotions as we progress through the story too, where she basically, like I think it was one of you two that said, became self-aware, mm-hmm. uh, which is why the bad guys or antagonist here, uh, which was the robots themselves, had come back learn some more uh but i thought the film was done right when we saw Roz get taken in the ship i thought we were going to see credits roll right there and then boom hey we just set ourselves up for number two but they went and extended a little bit Mm -hmm. was a little scared at the end there oh yeah (laughs) because i thought for sure they did some stuff to Roz, but they did enough to make at least me think there's a little something left but they still did something Mm -hmm. so overall uh pretty good film 
Uh, I would definitely recommend it to everyone yep. to see at least once, especially since I had zero clue about it. And by the way, it wasn't John Campia, it was Koi. Koi hmm. uh, was the one who did a re I saw did a review, didn't click on it, but now I'm gonna have to go watch it, Koi, and see how you reviewed this because, yeah, very interesting film. Again, didn't know anything about it until you folks started saying, hey, gotta check this out. <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess I'll get right to the scores. They. Uh so far from what i've seen uh they dropped the ball in the marketing of this one but hopefully there's enough word of mouth that everybody knows how awesome it is because i think anybody can get something from this from this film even if you're not a, a parent which we kind of leaned into pretty heavy on here because of the subject but like look if you're a coach and you see a kid who's you know too small but he's working hard there will not be a Rudy reference, Oak, but, uh, you know, you could be a coach and maybe you're helping a kid or it doesn't even have to be sports. Maybe, you know, a, a kid who's, you're a teacher and maybe you have a, there's a student yep. who they want to try to get it, but man, they just have something where it doesn't click just or, so, or some kind of John disadvantage. Cena. And yeah, they never give up like John Cena tells us to and find a way to persevere. So I thought it was great. I can't imagine that on the answer scale for me, I could go anything less than a five because this was just epic, outstanding, something for everybody. Story was beautifully crafted, not overly preachy with anything, just phenomenal. Yeah, this was a five for me as well. And, um, you know, Mason Quinn makes a, a great a great point there. And, and arguably the most powerful message of this film is that if somebody is down, somebody is out, somebody is struggling, honestly, if you have one person that believes in them, one person that says, I believe in you, I know you can do this, that can make all the difference in somebody else's life and that's gonna come back to you full circle. Um, so, you know, if you have that opportunity, be that person for somebody else in this world. But yeah, a five for me, again, a movie just filled with great lessons, great animations, lovable, great animation, lovable characters, and an absolute grand slam for me, so. Yep. 4.4 for me, I am, and now I know some folks, how is it not a five, Dave? Well, I am comparing it to uh, Puss in Boots 2, uh, you know, some other films, uh, some other animated films too. I st It's still a banger. 4.4 is still pretty good. Uh, I would, it's very I'm hoping. Good. On I'm the Dave hoping, scale. It's yeah, very good. good. I, and I will show my kids yeah. this too. Uh, and I do hope there is consideration. I know... Uh, I mean, it's pretty quick that it came, it's still in theaters and it came to Amazon Prime. Yeah. I don't know the logistics of it, but sometimes that's not a yeah. good sign, but maybe it was planned. Again, the marketing, uh, in my opinion, I didn't see Jack for the marketing. No. So From what I saw, I there's it, number two. Did, there's it did prequel. okay in the box office, but it didn't pop off like it should have. You know, when we talk about, you know, we recently did... Um, you know, Inside Out 2, mm -hmm. and that did like a billion in the box office. Yeah. And for me, for me... This is, I enjoyed this better than Inside Out 2. Mm -hmm. I thought Inside Out 2 was a phenomenal film. Yep. I thought the first one was a phenomenal film, but for me, I enjoyed this better. And Inside Out 2, of, of course, crushed this in the box office. And I will say, and just reiterate this, aside from seeing trailers in the theater, I don't remember seeing any marketing for this. And look, maybe the budget's just not there. It's not, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, one of these, you know, you know, stories where we know it already so yeah. you can just you know put it out there and stuff like that and they're not um you know it's not like a ten pole franchise like uh like an inside out was or you know the the toy stories the cars yeah, like inside, despicable me they, they already had that base right so yeah the second one was yeah the but i just i part. just i will say that um it didn't feel like the marketing was quite there for it and not just look we saw we we re watched um wonka right mm -hmm. Oh, they there was the ball. there was lots of marketing there, but they like promoted like the, uh, every trailer was just like you know Hugh Grant and his Oompa Loompa, and they yeah. kind of left out the incredibly wholesome like film that they made. But for this one, it doesn't feel like it just feels like they missed the marketing altogether. I don't yeah, recall. I'm actually much. curious if you made it this far. Thank you, by the way. If have did how did you hear this film? Was it because was it because of good marketing? I've, it's got to be a word. What, of mouth. Did you see a trailer like? Dave's kind of saying in a, in a theater, did you see it kind of pop online somewhere? I'm like, how did you hear about it? And if you didn't hear about it, how are you hearing about yeah. it? Because I'm really curious because I feel like this was a, a good movie to really hit home for a lot of people. Again, 
uh, the folks that have reached out to us to watch it had nothing but high praise for mm -hmm. it. So I'm just curious, how how did you hear of it? <clears throat> Loved it. Can't yeah. wait to go and see it in the theaters now. Ab so. Absolutely. So this one was an absolute blast. Thank you so many of you out there for recommending it. So that's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine. That was a fantastic movie, and I hope you all check it out. We'll see you on the next one.